this can be a conceptual thing that you offer on this landing page. Now, what happens after you send people to this page? You're not selling anything, you're trying to find their interests. Like I said, this concept is for people who are just starting out, people starting from scratch or people that might not have a following or they don't know what they want to sell. Or it could also be a way to find out more about what you could be selling and expanding your business, expanding your art, expanding what you create and making money from what you do, just doing what you do. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tom Ray's Art Podcast. I'm Tom. Uh, On today's show, I'm going to do something a little different. See, I released my show on Sundays and the next two holidays, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve are on Sundays. So I didn't want to release one of the interviews I did because I didn't want that person who I was having on the episode to, I don't know, get the short end of the stick. I don't know which way I should put that. But anyway, I I didn't want I wanted them to have the full benefit of everybody not being out traveling or being with family and not being able to listen. Like even if the day after would be fine, they're still missing a day, the premiere day, all that. So I wanted to try something experimental, like talk about something that, uh, let me put it this way. Have you ever seen or maybe even taken one of those courses that like somebody, somebody that you really admire or somebody you follow or an artist or a creator, uh, does where they're like, I'm going to tell you how to do this thing that I do in a course and you can pay for it. Maybe you have taken it or maybe you wanted to take it, but it was too much or we're just curious, but didn't think you had the time. Uh, So I've taken a lot of those and I actually, uh, I I mean, enough that I kind of noticed something. And let me go back to this. A few episodes ago, there was actually a person I spoke to, Lindsay, who actually was doing their first gallery, and they took a course about promoting events, about marketing themselves for their gallery, about getting people to show up, about finding people who wanted to see their stuff. And as they were talking about it, I remember that I was I was recognizing a lot of things, and I'm like, oh, that's this. And I started saying, yeah, there's another way that you can do it to market people and find out what they want after the fact, how to keep them and actually find out more about what they're looking for and create things specifically for them because they tell you what they want. Now, all of this might sound confusing, but the thing is, is most marketing courses are the exact same thing with different genres or end games related to the people that are following them or what they do. But the basic marketing concept is the same. And like I said, I've taken a lot of these courses. Most of them were specifically just for marketing because I used to work as a web developer for businesses. And my job was to create websites that would get people to sign up for what they were selling, usually healthcare or things like that. So that's a long way of saying, I'm basically going to tell you what I learned. I'm going to tell you what's in these courses. Every single one of them is exactly the same. So I wanted to share one that is this exact same thing, but it has a unique spin to it. One that I think could benefit everybody, especially people who don't want to advertise, don't want to just sell, don't want to just go buy my stuff. You're actually looking for an audience. And the concept is this. It's a marketing course meant for email. It can be done with social media. You'll just have to, I mean, like I said, listen to the concept and I'm going to tell you exactly what I've learned from one of these courses. So let's start out with the concept. The concept is for people starting from scratch. This is why it's it's great. I love this one because it's not going, here's how to sell your stuff and find people to buy it. It's you're starting out, or maybe even if you do have things, but you don't know what people want. You don't know what to sell them or you're selling things and they're not hitting. So it's for people starting from scratch. And it's also for people that might not have any following or people that have a small following and you want it to get bigger. There's that concept. It's not just buy my stuff, get more people, buy my stuff. It's 
I want a following. I want people that are interested in what I do. I want people who, when I post a picture or a painting or have a gallery, they show up. And that's the concept of this. And that's why I love this one too. And we're going to do kind of just a quick overlay of the concept of, of how it works and what it involves. So it can be used for mostly anything. When I took the course, it was literally just how to market your marketing stuff to marketers or wannabe marketers. But I don't do that, but marketing is part of anything you do. I'm a musician. I've used it for marketing music, for marketing songs that I release. I'm a podcaster. I've used it for sure for marketing this podcast. Truth be told, a lot of you people that are listening to this, it's through this method. I've used this and it's not, I've never tried to sell you anything. I'm just doing it because I wanted people to be interested in the artists that I talk to, the people that I find, the conversations that I have. And I was looking for other people that literally wanted to hear the same thing. So it can be used for a lot of different things, not just, hey, buy my painting or buy my drawings or things like that. It can be, it's multifaceted. So uh, building the email list, let's start with that. Now, the basic thing is you want people to sign up for your email list So you can always contact them about things you're doing, things that you're creating, and things they might be interested in. And even things they want to buy. If you're having a sale, that's a great thing to add too. I'm not saying you can't sell things to them. I'm saying it's a way to not just always say, buy my stuff. I'm going to start with the stuff that you've heard a million times here. I know building an email list, you're like, oh, building an email list. Yes, I'm going to start with the stuff that you've heard a million times if you've even remotely looked into one of these courses, but it gets better. It really does. The concept of it in general is why I wanted to talk about this one. So to build the email list, the way you do that is with an email squeeze page or landing page. Now, it's really just, it's not a page on a site. It's not a pop-up form that's on the web page that you have. It's literally a page where all it's going to be is a headline a, and a subheading, and it's a sign up form. That's it. Nothing else is on the page. The whole concept is that you want people to go to the page, make a quick decision if they want to join your list, and if not, they won't and they go away. And that means not everybody's going to sign up, but that's good. Everybody came there for a reason. You sent them there for a reason, and then they look at what you're saying on the page and go, is that for me? Is that what I want them to contact me about? Is that what I want them to send me? And if they say no, then they go away. That's good because you don't want to be sending what you're creating to people that don't want it. It's a way to literally find people who go, yes, I do want that. Tell me more. And what you would do on the page is what's called an ethical bribe, meaning when they add their email list to the list and what the headline says, they'll get what you're telling them. They'll receive what you're telling them, not get like, oh, suddenly it's clear to me. No, they'll receive what you tell them. Meaning when they sign up, you're going, hey, maybe I'll send you a PDF or whatever like that. And that's the, you're basically saying, if you sign up, I'll give you this and you'll continue to be entertained by what the subject matter is. So that's the ethical bribe. So the thing they could sign up for, it could be many things. It could be how, like PDFs, like a how-to or a tips list or uh, maybe a story you wrote if you're a writer, things like that. Just stuff to get people to go, yes, I want to know more about what this is. Nothing extravagant, nothing that should take you more than a day to figure out, but you know, something that you work on to go, people might find this interesting. And that's the beauty part because all of us have thought, maybe I could do something that people might find interesting. This is a way to really figure that out. And like, if nobody signs up, you you realize, oh, that thing I was going to spend time on or make an entire like video series about and spent this time on, you're finding out early that maybe no one's interested in it because nobody signed up. When people sign up, and I've told you, it kind of filters out who you really want to be on your list. People who, when you send an email, you don't feel like you're going to lose 20 subscribers because they're like, I didn't sign up for this. So it's the headline that really filters the audience. The headlines being things like how to solve a problem in 30 days, whatever the problem being, like if you're a painter or if you're a writer or if you're a photographer, how to solve 
whatever you do, a thing that you know about in 30 days. Or a step-by-step example of how I start a project or how I created a particular thing, how I, anything. Like, as I'm saying this, are things popping into your head? That's the point. Because I don't know what you do. That's why I'm saying, like, what would you do? What what would your be how-to in 30 days? Or five favorite tools. That's another one I was thinking of. You can just go, here are the tools I use to create the thing that you see me create. Like, brushes you use, cameras you use, um, paper, printing methods, just stuff like that. Things that you use to create what you make. Because there are other people out there that also want to create that stuff, that also want to do this. And they're like, well, what are, I like what you do. What do you use? So it's just that. Create this headline that makes them go, yes, I would like to know that and put in their email. You want to actually give them the results that you promised, which one would be a how to solve a problem or the step-by-step example or the five favorite tools. They would get that when they download. Now, it doesn't always have to be a PDF. It doesn't have to be. It can also be conceptual. Like I said, I did this for my podcast. What am I going to give people to sign up for my email list for a podcast? I was looking for people who were trying to get back into making art. I mean, a lot of my conversations are with professionals and beginners and people from all aspects of being creators talking about what they do or how they got where they are or things that they're trying. And that was what I offered on my landing page. I basically said, I'm an artist that wanted to get back into creating again. So I made a podcast where I ask other people how they do it. I believe that was what I wrote in the headlines. And I was like, sign up to learn what they said on my podcast. I just sent them a link to where the podcast is and then they could listen. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to build my podcast audience. The people that are on the show will get new listeners that will be interested in their stuff and people will go to their site. That's why I wanted to build that audience because I wanted it to benefit the people I have on the show. So this can be a conceptual thing that you offer on this landing page. Now that they're on your list, that thing they signed up for, well, that's what they wanted to know about. Now it's time to treat the email like a blog. Each week, continue to just send tips or things, just short little ideas or like making people feel creative, making people feel every time they send it, you're telling them something helpful. You're sharing your insight on being a creator with them. Just write them like you would a blog post. Doesn't have to be long. And if you have a blog post where that is something you've already put on there, because each person that signs up as a new person has never heard of anything you've done. You can send people to a popular post you have on your website that tells them something more about it. Find out more about what they're interested in. And this is what these marketing courses taught me is it's finding out what the people who signed up want. And this is where I said it pays off. So now you've got them on your email list. They signed up for a thing. They're there. You're emailing them. They're opening. You look at the email service that you use and see which subject you're sending has the most opens. If you have a link in it to go click on your website, which one has the most clicks? And just continue to do that. And when you find out more as you're testing things out, what's more popular? What's getting opened more? What's, what are people responding to? Are people even, because e- people can email you back. If they have a question, they can actually email you back. Like, what are people responding to? So when you see that, start doing more of those. Again, seems obvious, but this is where it builds up to something. After a while, you do that and the things that are more popular, one, you've found out kind of what the people who signed up for your list are interested in. Now, the next thing that can happen is you can start asking questions to the email list. Now, this goes back to the response. You can go, you know, I've been writing about this subject that I'm doing or this thing that I'm using or I don't know. I don't need to make this up. I'm saying when you look at what you're sending them, then just start asking questions. Don't do it right away. This is all a long haul. This is all building and it continues to happen day to day to day. Like after maybe you get a hundred people on your list, if you've had none, start asking them questions about the things that are getting open, but wait till you get like maybe a hundred people. That's what I mean. Don't just start doing it right away. Now, this is where the beauty part is. We've not really been selling them anything, maybe telling them about things we have for sale. And when you start asking these questions, when people answer back, Now, what that is, is those right there are a list of things. 
that you can make products out of or informational things about of or videos out of to build an audience because if people are specifically asking questions about, I need to know this, and you're going, I do this for a living, I can talk about it all day, then that is what you can start working around to kind of, you become kind of a creative teacher. You become kind of a, I guess, influencer is what it amounts to. So these, that's the beauty of this method. And that's why I've used it for even things I create personally, like this podcast like the webcomic that I do, like the music that I release. I've been releasing music every month since June right now, and I've been doing the same sort of thing. I've been releasing the music and then kind of asking people, what do they think of this? What kind of, uh, another thing I want to do is figure out what, really what genre my music is. So I've been asking them, what style of music is this? Things like that. There's all kinds of questions you can ask when the audience is really just feeling like they're creative partners with you. Like they're like when I meet people on the podcast, suddenly I'm so glad that I know these artists that I feel like if I needed to, I could ask them a question instead of just a website going, Oh, I really love this person's stuff. But now when I've had them on the podcast, I've sat down, had discussions with people and I feel close to them. And that's really what this email list is. It's like your own podcast. I don't know. I just came up with that. It might be a bad metaphor, but that's the point of it. So Really, that's what I wanted to share today was what I've learned pretty much from every marketing course. That whole concept up until the very end is the exact same thing every marketing course is going to tell you. Every marketing course is about creating informational products and finding ways to sell more than just your products. One thing about this one is that you're asking the public or the people that signed up or the people interested in you, what more would you like to know about what I do? And when they tell you, that's what you know people want to hear. So there you go. Again, thank you. If you've been listening this whole time, thank you. If not, if you skip this episode, then you're not hearing me say this anyway, so whatever. <laughs> but that is the concept of just an, an email strategy for building an audience and finding out what people want to know more about you, how people can become more of a fan and why they should follow you. So I'm not quite sure how to end this. So this has been another Tom Ray's art podcast. Um, and uh, for the most part, I'll be back next week with another guest. Also, if there are things that I talked about on this episode, you'd like to know more about, please let me know. Send me an email at uh, Tom at Tom Ray's website.com or message me on Instagram, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. So long. So long.